हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वेलकम टू द अनदर सेशन ऑफ कंसाइज फिजिक्स क्लास टेंथ एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्थ रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रू लेंसेज वेयर वी हैव सीन लेंसेज टॉपिक कॉन्वेक्स एंड कन्वर्जिंग लेंस एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉ कॉन्केव और डाइवर्जिंग लेंस नाउ इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर एक्शन ऑफ अ लेंस एज अ सेट ऑफ प्रिज्म एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी कन्वर्टिंग एक्शन ऑफ अ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस एज वेल एज डाइवर्जेंट एक्शन ऑफ ए कॉन्केव लेंस राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ओके लेट मी राइट चैप्टर फर्स्ट चैप्टर फिफ्थ एंड द चैप्टर नेम इज रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रू अ लेंस ओके एंड द हेडिंग इज द टॉपिक वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इज फाइव पॉइंट टू एक्शन of a lens as a set of prism all right so basically in this video we are going to see the meaning of a lens when we are saying that lens is behaving like a prism or we can say that actions of a lenses where we are considering that lenses are made up of prism all right so let's see how lenses are looking like a prism just need to create five dots first 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 and this is 5 again just add these dots and you will be able to see a lens which is made up of a prism how let's see so basically here you can see this is a kind of a lens what we called as a convex lens and this lens is basically made up of a prism see this is one of the prism this is one of the prism this is one of the prism and this is again one of the prism so it's made up of 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 so this is made up of four prism to make a single lens now how about concave lens again 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 just add it i am just explaining you because probably if you require to create this kind of a diagram then it will be help to create this kind of a diagram very quickly okay so now here you can see this is what this is concave lens okay and here you can see this is again made up of what prism prism of let's say 1 2 3 4 and 5 so here is if you see in the book is saying we have read that refraction of a light through a prism okay now the refraction of a light through a lens can be understood in a very simple way if we consider a lens is made up of a set of prism so this is one set of prism okay this is second set of prism this is third this is fourth that's what the book is saying and to make it further simple the prism in the central portion of a lens shows in the figure number 1 may be treated as a rectangular slab let's say this is my rectangular slab okay 
then the lens can be considered as being made up of a rectangular slab at the center okay so let's make it like this so we have a prism where we have a rectangular slab all right and at the okay so this is at the center and one prism on either side okay so this is it let's say one prism i am making it here and one prism i am making it here okay as shown in this figure now in case of a concave sorry so this is what this is my convex lens now in a similar fashion if i want to create the concave lens then again need to create a rectangular slab but in this case the lens is sorry the prism will be of upside down so this will be something like this all right so this is my what this is my concave lens all right now here let's understand how light behave or the how rays behave when some ray emerges incident on this point this point or this point in a parallel fashion okay so now we are going to see the next topic which is let me put it in next page next topic is convergent action now here we are talking about how lenses are behaving okay so the topic is convergent c o n v e r g e n t action of a convex lens so convex lens is what convex lens is just create a rectangular slab and two prism on both the side now let's see how these rays behave if rays are incidented or trying to incident on this prism in a parallel okay so let's this is a this is b and this is c so in a book is saying this let us consider the refraction of these parallel rays friends please note i am here saying and writing in bold what that these rays are parallel if these rays are parallel there must be having some kind of a behavior but if the rays are not in parallel that behavior will be change so here i am writing this in bold that these rays are parallel okay so here whatever i am saying up to next 2 3 minutes i am talking only and only about the case when these three rays are parallel okay so let's consider the refraction of a parallel rays of light a b and c incident on prism let's say this upper part lower part uh, the middle part and the lower part now we can say or we know that ray of light incident on a prism on refraction through it always bend towards what towards its base so here in this case the prism base is this one this is my prism base i am just writing here let's say for example so this is what this is my prism base for here this is my prism base so the rays always bends towards the prism base okay so for this i mean the ray number a it will be like this it will go down for c it will go upward and for b please note any ray which is incident in the center is never being reflected at any place is go 
straight all right so let's draw this line straight and the behavior of first ray will be here it will go down because the prism base is here rays always go towards prism base and for this it will go here okay so here the rays travel like this all right so if i read the book statement we is mentioning that the through the prism in the upper context upper part of convex lens bend the incident ray downward why because here is the base while the prism on the lower part of the convex lens bend the incident ray upward the central part which is a parallel sided glass slab this one the ray b normally incident in is undeviated thus the set of a prism forming a convex lens this is what this is what i'm talking about the convex lens so now here we are seeing the is converges the parallel ray okay so this behavior what we called as a conversion or let's say converges the parallel ray i am talking about parallel rays only all right so here we are seeing that rays are converging okay and this behavior or this is what we called as a convergent action of the convex lenses okay so this is all about the behavior or the action of convergent action if three rays are uh, incidenting on any lens then it will move towards its base and this behavior is called as the converges of the parallel ray and by the way this point what we called as a point f all right so this is about uh, convergent action now let's see what divergent divergent action of a concave lens okay now let's see so let me just draw a similar fashion let me just draw the concave lens so let's say this is my a uh, parallel slab and as i said it will be upside down prism all right okay now let's see if three rays are incidenting on this lens made up of let's say three prism this is uh, uh Uh, ray, uh, ray number a b and c okay so the ray falls on the upper side this is central side and c will be on the bottom side so as i said up uh, when i am talking about this the ray b is when is uh, a base inciding uh, incidenting on this slab it will go ahead and not deviated undeviated all right now here if we see as i said the rays are always moving or reflecting towards is base of the prism so here the base is this or for downside the base is this so of course the ray will move towards base like this and in this case the ray will move towards is base which is this all right so it will try to move towards its base so that means these rays are not touching to each other the here we can say there is a common point of f where these rays are incidenting which we called as a point f but here these rays are not meeting to each other but let's say if i try to a uh, draw a backward line to find out the f point so this is my 
the point F where it seems like these rays are actually coming from this way but in actual the direction is different okay so the direction will be what direction will be rays are coming this way and then is going this way all right now here we can see that a behavior of a lens as what diverging here we is diverges the parallel ray always note that i am talking only and only about parallel rays okay so we saw that in case of a convergent action the lenses in case of a so we saw that in case of a convergent action of a convex lens the rays meet up because it always move towards its baseline and we saw the converges of the of the parallel ray but in case of the concave lens lens are behaving as a divergent behave lens okay so concave lenses has a diverging action on the incident ray and in case of parallel ray only so that's all about uh, convergent action and divergent action of convex and concave lens in our next video we are going to see 5.3 where we are going to see what's the meaning of center of curvature radius of curvature principal axis optical center and principal foci so these are the point where we are going to cover we also see first focal point and second focal point okay do let me know in case you have any doubt bye bye and take care